Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to create multiple line chart with the Figma component properties. So before moving to multiple line chart, we'll look at the previous one which I have created single line chart. And in this single line chart, we have the three different data which is having 7 days, 30 days and 90 days. So it was created with the variable and uh, which is having the same feature which is like a hovering effect and uh, you can see this while i'm hovering this it is showing the data or the values of the visitors so today i'm going to create this with the component property so look at the example here so this is the example of uh, total team score which is having the sports with the four round in round one team one two three four their scores are displaying here 10 for the team one team two 24 team 340 and team 4 55 so the same way we are going to create today so let's see how to create this so before that uh, i will show this is the component which is created for the different team team 1 2 3 4 and here it is the given the attraction for the hovering effect for the all markers so what all things is required to create a line chart So we'll see that here we have the different team and this is the region. So here we can see the annotations of the color like uh, for marker team one is red and respectively. And this is the y axis which is having the total score. And this is the round of the sports which is like a uh, round one, two, three, four. So let's start with this example so i'm going to duplicate this for example so mainly i am uh, showing here how to use this component so for that i will delete this these are markers and then this line draw now i will enable this y axis so easily we can keep it the values so next is going to asset and dragging drop this marker so while i'm dragging and drop this marker I will enable the stroke so we, it will be visible and easy to keep the marker on the right value so here this is set on the x-axis and y-axis now come to the file so this is for the team one marker and I will make it small now I'm going to duplicate this and make it little bigger come to here swap instant and change to team to mark so same way duplicate this and create the team 3 so here we can swap this and this is the team 3 now again duplicate and make it this team 4 So it is done now coming to the values which is like a score here so this is the team one so suppose it is having a value of 30 so this is showing the 30 and the score we can write here so this is the default and this variant to is the hover so for this tool tip I'm going to write here 
30 and changes to the default so team 2 team 2 is having suppose 50 so come to this over and we can say this 50 so now team 3 team 3 is uh, suppose having 70 so change this value to 70 and team 4 suppose it is having 90 so here we can give a value 90 and change to the default so team 3 variant 2 change to default team 2 change to default now this is done now select this all team and group it make it round one now simply just duplicate this round one and make it round two so i'm taking from here so you can check the alignment with the y-axis so this is round one two one six and this is the round two two one six all fine so now going with this team one marker so suppose team one is having now value 50 so variant 2 value will be 50 and change to default team 2 is having a score 30 so change the variant enter the value 30 and again change to default now team 3 team 3 is suppose having 90 so change the variant enter the value 90 now this is the team 4 and I think team 3 is given in so team 3 suppose it is having value 10 so change the variant and give the value 10 now finally okay this need to be changed so variant to default now after doing this just will remove this border or stroke disable and round one also same now we need to use the paint tool so before that we'll disable this y axis measure line And this is for team one. Skip and here take the color. So from color picker, we'll select this color. So this is done. Now for team two, we'll use the paint tool. Select the color. Done. Now with the team three, select the color. Now with the team four. So this is done. Now we can preview this.
12 हो गई 90 90 सो टीम फोर इज हैविंग द सेम स्कोर इन बोथ ऑफ राउंड 90 एंड 90 टीम थ्री इज हैविंग इन राउंड वन 70 एंड राउंड टू 10 नाउ दिस टीम टू इज हैविंग 50 एंड देन 30 टीम वन इज हैविंग 30 एंड देन 50 सो दिस इज द इजीएस्ट way to create and it will save a lot of time while creating this line chart so just you can use this component and while using component uh, you if you want to change the color you can change the color and uh, remember if you want to make it a line so you can give the stroke here so it will uh, easy to scale up or increase or decrease the values of this so this file is uploaded in figma community so you can take it from here multiple line chart so how is the trick please let me know thanks for watching thank you thank you very much